Yo, it's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get into it, Megan Thee Stallion. Now, if you were in my live, I did mention to you guys back a couple of months ago, a few months ago, that there was a meeting coming up with Jay-Z, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, and Carl Crawford. And I believe Jay Prince was also involved. I told you back then that Jay-Z is going to convince Megan to stay on the label that she is on and just stay with Rock Nation Management. And here's why. Um, <clears throat> right now, 1501 Certified Entertainment, the label run by uh, former Major League Baseball player Carl Crawford, okay, um, they are currently the label that she is releasing this new cycle, you know, that dot, dot S H I T came out on and her new music will be coming out on 1501 certified uh, entertainment with uh, 300 entertainment for distribution, which is Leora Cohen. Now Crawford last year, you know, got sued from Meg Thee Stallion for unfair contract terms. Now, Crawford right now is uh, currently calls appealing a decision by a Texas judge who blocked his attempt to force the legal fight into arbitration. <clears throat> so, Carl Crawford was trying to get it into arbitration. If you'll know what arbitration is, that's what Cardi B was in with her manager for the longest. And once you get into arbitration, it's just a matter of time before you know, the manager, you know, pretty much gets what he wants or at least gets to control the terms. Now, sources familiar with the situation says that Megan Thee Stallion has a 12-count lawsuit, all right? A 12-count lawsuit um, against Carl with allegations that, you know, Carl made her sign an unfair deal. Knowingly sign an unfair deal. This is what, you know, the terms say. Okay, so let me tell you exactly, you know, what she has uh, in these terms, okay? The terms that um, Megan signed of course, came in the question once Megan got with Jay-Z. Those terms came in the question, all right? So, here's the terms that um, Megan had. Uh, Crawford is, a, this is according to Billboard, um, there was look a fifty percent. Let me get let me make sure I'm giving you the right information. Fifty percent um, publishing deal. So she would own fifty percent for publishing. Um, she would, as, as I always said before, masters would be fully owned by three hundred entertainment. I'm excuse me, fifteen oh one. They would also get a 30% um, on all her deals, 30% deal, and, and that would, and also 30, so 30% so on streaming deals, record deals, anything outside of uh, the music industry, and then on third party deals, meaning any features or what have you, or any other sponsorship that had nothing to do with getting a deal through them, even if they got a deal outside of them, it would be anything over $1,000. Uh, anything over $1,000, they would get 30% of. Now, Megan Thee Stallion right now is suing because what Carl Crawford put in and invested into Megan Thee Stallion, she has already tripled, Okay. She has over a billion streams, and 
she also has three Grammys, which accounts which accounts to money. Three Grammys, and she has two number one singles. Okay, now she's also got uh, numerous sponsorship deals that she felt as though was not um, acquired by fifteen oh one. So she's trying to fight for those as well. So before Megan wanted to be off of 1501, she no longer wants to be off of 1501 Entertainment. So what she's going to do now is release. She's just going to stay on the label. As I told you, Jay-Z was trying to convince her to do. Okay. So she's going to now be staying on 1501, but she just wants to renegotiate her contract. She wants to stay, uh, she will stay right now, currently releasing music under the current deal, but she wants a new deal, and she, they come to a figure of $7 million is what Carl Crawford owes her. This is coming from uh, Megan's lawyers, you know, of course, those are Rock Nation's lawyers. This is what they're saying. All right. So, currently, she, um, Carl was trying to stop her from releasing new music. However, she got the judge to get a restraining order. On Carl in 1501. So now she can release the music. She can, she can continue uh, release the music, continue building her brand. But now she decided to stay on 1501. So Jay Z went, negotiated a deal with uh, Leora Cohen. Okay. And Got Megan some side money as he did another deal. She did another distribution deal with Lior that got her an extra $2 million. All right. So Lior basically said, I'm going to trust Jay. I trust Jay and what he does. And I have very good trust in Jay-Z. Jay-Z, Sean Carter, I have very good trust that Megan the Stallion is going to make good on my money. So he got Leo to cut an extra $2 million check for Megan's pocket. Now, this new uh, album um, records that are coming out, they're going to be under Carl Still. 1501 Entertainment and under 300, sorry about that guys, 300 um, Leo, you know, 300 Entertainment uh, Leo Cohen. Trying to get all these thing I was told here. Um, okay, so the other thing, Jay will stay on, you know, she will stay under Rock Nation. She would. She does not want to move to Rock Nation. Um, you know, she wants to stay in management only. She does not want to move to Rock Nation as a record label, which to me is the best thing. You know, it's it's always best for Jay to, um, you know, Jay and Rock Nation to have hands in your career as far as management, but stay off of. Say from under as far as a record label. And that's good. That's the reason why all of these other artists are trying to get out from under there. So, this new music that you hear coming out, you're going to see, you know, this, this, um, I believe they go back to court in September. They go back to court in September. And they're trying to come to, they're trying to build up this equity. The reason why they're going to wait till September, 
They're going to build up this equity and Jade uh, decided to have Megan stay on 1501 because they wanted to show and have the book show all that she's accomplished, you know, for 1501. And then that could show the judge and whoever else, the arbitrators, whoever's going to be looking over it. Wow, look at the money that she's generating for 1501. So the this contract that she signed is, you know, should be null and void and should be renegotiated. She renegotiates her contract terms um, and she will then stay on 1501, but with a new deal and the seven million dollars that's owed to her for the streams, the um, merchandising the um, awards, the number ones. Because she, right now, if you have to consider, and she's going to also have them looking at all of the other money that 1501 is generating. Because if 1501 is going to say they are the driving force behind Megan Thee Stallion, the judge is also going to look at, okay, well, what else you got? Is Erica Banks doing the same thing? Is this one doing the same thing? That one doing the same thing? They're going to look at that. So that is the strategy behind her staying on 1501. That was Jay's idea. Once again, Jay playing checkers. I mean, Jay playing chess when everybody else is playing backgammon. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood. That's the latest I have. Um, uh, thanks to uh, courtesy of Billboard and courtesy of my man, Jock. Not young Jock. <laughs> I'm just going to call him Jock because I don't want to put his name out there. That's courtesy of my man, Jock, over at Trey Hunter. <laughs> That's all I'll say. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network.